Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. I'm not going to read through the full article here. I'm going to give you my overview. And as it's going to be off the top of my head, there is the risk that I may get a couple of the details wrong. But of course, there's a link in the description uh, for you to read through in your own good time. And I will give the article a, a skim through as, as we go through, just to make sure I'm covering all of the key topics and try to minimize any potential errors. Uh, but in essence, we'll, we'll start with the headline, California Assistant Principals, these two people here, whose name names are David Shannon Yang and Natasha Harris. They work for Carter High School in Rialto, California. So these two characters, California assistant principals, have been charged with child abuse after allegedly failing to report a serial sexual assaulter on campus. Okay, so again, I'll give you my overview as best I can. Uh, essentially, at this school, Carter High School, there's an alleged 17-year-old male serial sexual abuser that has victimized at least three girls, three females, aged either 15 or 16, 15, 15, 16. Um, now, the first victim, who I believe is 15, if I have that right, reported that she was... Um, sexually assaulted by this 17 year old on multiple occasions over a three month time span and she reported that in september 2020 sorry september 2021 um however the rialto police department did did not receive any such notification of any alleged sexual assault until february the 16th and this really is at the crux of the matter here. Uh, so essentially, just to recap, um, there's been allegedly three victims of sexual abuse uh, at the hands of one 17-year-old male student at Carter High School. And the first victim that we're aware of um, went to the authorities, or the, the, you know, they went to their teachers, the principals, the assistant principal, they did whatever they needed to do to say to the school, hey, guys, um, I'm being sexually assaulted. I have been for quite some time. Uh, so this first victim, 15 years of age, a female, um, did that in sept September 2021. And seemingly the school and these guys, uh, I'll say being scapegoated, perhaps rightfully, perhaps wrongfully, I don't know. But these two guys are being scapegoated um, for not reporting those crimes to the police. I don't work for a school. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a principal. I don't work for a police department. But I would imagine that if you do work for a school and you have a student come to you and they make allegations of sexual assault, then I would think that it would be the right thing to do to report that to the police. That would be my assumption. Uh, and these guys did not do that. And in fact, I don't even need to revert to my assumption because this article uh, tells us about uh, California law. It says here, a mandated reporter shall make a report to an agency whenever the mandated reporter in the mandated reporter's professional capacity or within the scope of the mandated reporter's employment has knowledge of or observes a child whom the mandated reporter knows or reasonably suspects has been the victim of child abuse or neglect. Okay, so that's been written in legalese. I'm not a lawyer. You're not a lawyer. Perhaps you are. But essentially, the California law is such that um, if these guys are made aware of the likelihood, the potential of sexual assault or child abuse of any kind, um, they are obliged to report that to the police. That's my uh, interpretation. That's my interpretation. So I believe that is correct. Um, so they, if they don't do anything about it, then um, they are in the firing line and they didn't do anything about it. They were informed by the first uh, victim of the alleged sexual assaults in September 2021 
but no notification was made to the Rialto Police Department until February 16th. So we'll look at what the San Bernardino County District Attorney has to say on the subject. Uh, so I'll read through this quote here. In this case, the assistant principal's failure to report sexual assault on their campus erodes the trust that students and parents alike should have regarding the safety and protection of all the children in their care. Their failure as mandated reporters to notify law enforcement led to further victimization of two students and the sexual assault of a third victim, which was preventable. Uh, yeah, so the, um, the first student made the re reports in September 2021 and the subsequent victims, the two other victims, um, claimed that they also, or one of them at least, claimed that they had been repeatedly sexually assaulted uh, and that they had brought their concerns. They reported the sexual assault to the school in November of last year. Um, so, you know, some time after, and that could have been stopped. The third girl uh, didn't report to the police, uh, sorry, didn't report to the school uh, initially. Um, so I don't know how we know about the third victim, but uh, yeah, the third alleged victim never made any such report. Um, so, you know, I mean, there are reasons there, and that's a bit concerning why I'll say women and children, in some occasions, they don't report, you know, I don't really understand why that's the case, but presumably it's because of fear of some kind and the lack of faith in the system. Uh, they, they don't feel that uh, anything will happen from it or enough will happen for it or that it will benefit them or, it will, or that it will make up in any way for the assault. So they just let it go, um, which is a huge shame. Understandable. Uh, but concerning and a huge shame. So look, that in essence is pretty much all we need to, to look at. Uh, so to recap, um, the laws in California are such that if someone is in a position of a certain responsibility and they're aware that there has been child abuse or neglect, then they must act on that within a timely fashion. And these guys didn't, allegedly. These guys allegedly were informed of an alleged sexual assault in September 2021. And they didn't do anything about it. They didn't report or rather they didn't report it to the police, the Rialto Police Department until 10 days ago, mid-February 2022. So you guys, I mean, I we don't know the full details here, but based on this article, I have no problems with you guys facing child abuse. Uh, you were put in a position of responsibility and allegedly, according to the details presented here, which may be incorrect, you failed to act on the on the details that you were made aware of um, to a significant level. You failed. And in so doing, I'm going to say I'm going to use the enabling word. You enabled the perpetrator to be able to continue with their victimization of at least three students aged 15 and 16. You know, you enabled that. You enabled that seemingly, allegedly, potentially. Uh, so if that is the case, once you faced a trial, which we presume that you will, once you face a trial, if that is proven to be the case, then yeah, I'm all for it. You know, let's get you guys charged, perhaps jailed. Why not jailed? Why not jailed? Uh, for child abuse. If you've turned a blind eye, regardless as to what's going on in your head and you think that you're wonderful, virtuous people, regardless of that, if you've failed these children, if you've enabled a perpetrator to continue to victimise, then you need to be held accountable for that. 